Joining us now, Brad Garlinghouse is the CEO of the cryptocurrency developer Ripple. Ripple's XRP token has surged more than 500% this year. Brad, nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. First of all, just tell people what exactly Ripple does, because it's not just the currency, also you're very involved in blockchain. Absolutely. So Ripple sells a blockchain technology to banks and payment providers and other financial institutions to do real-time settlement between banks. So today, if you wanted to send, if Morgan wanted to send $10,000 to London right now, the fastest way for her to do that is to drive to Newark or JFK and fly it there. Our view is, in a world of the internet, you can stream video from the space station, you should be able to do real-time settlement between banks, and we sell a technology to banks to do that. And the banks are getting on board with this because they know there's a lot of paper pushing and also a lot of money attached to those settlements. For sure. So we have over 100 banks working with Ripple today around the world. Uh, I think. The vast majority of banks, like 99.9% .9 of banks, actually are paying other banks, the kind of the global money center banks, like JP Morgan or Citibank, to make those settlements. So a lot of the banks are very excited about democratizing how these global payments flow. There's a belief that, I mean, you could transform the global payment system over time, although then the alternative argument is you need a centralized you can't have it decentralized, that it actually benefits from efficiencies. I would assume you come down in the latter. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I think any time you can do something without that central counterparty, you're going to reduce friction, which is measured by time, cost, speed. So by removing that central counterparty and going direct, direct from point to point, you can skip going from the Bank of David to the Bank of Morgan to the Bank of Mike. You just go directly to the Bank of Mike. So if the immediate opportunity is efficiencies in this area of the, the actual kind of nuts and bolts sort of plumbing of the financial system, how does that relate to the value of, of the Ripple tokens or of, of the of Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies? They're, they're taking on a separate life, it seems, from uh, the future of adoption of this technology. It's a great point, and I think one of the things we all have to remember is that the value of a token over the long term is really going to be derived by its utility. What problem is it solving? How big is that problem? How many customers do you have? There's no question there's a lot of hype in this system, and I don't actually think that's a good thing. For Ripple, we use this digital asset called XRP to settle, to, to settle liquidity needs between banks. So today, there's $27 trillion parked at different banks around the world so they can make payments between each other. Our view is you can use a digital asset like XRP to do that in real time. Because XRP has been so efficient, it settles a transaction about three seconds compared so to Bitcoin So it just passes through that currency for that period of time. That's correct. Yeah. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.